Hey, man. I, I was thinking of you all these days. <laughs> How good? are you? Good, good. Very good. We've been, uh, we've been missing you around here, you know? <laughs> yeah. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Ride the Bean. Today, I am in Alicante. And I've been here for a few days now, just walking around, hanging out with my mom. Today, I thought I would uh, do a little bit of a coffee tour again. Because I found a few really cool coffee shops uh, in this area. So I thought I would do a, a little bit of a coffee tour of the Alicante region. Uh, and I didn't know, I came into town today, and I didn't know that there's a, a party here. There's like a, a, a feria or fayas. And people are building these crazy, crazy statues and putting them all over town. They're playing music in the streets, lighting up fireworks randomly all across town. There's about uh, uh, four or five places that I really want to visit. Um, some of them I've been to, and there's one I haven't been to yet that I've been recommended. So I'm going to check that out uh, later today. But to start off, um, I'm going to a coffee shop called Sip and Wonder, which is a really cool place. And uh, they have one uh, one fixed roaster, which is the Origen, uh, a roaster in Albir, not too far from here. And then they have uh, a guest roaster every month. So for the moment, this month, I think they have right, right side roasters from Barcelona. But they have a lot of really good coffees. So let's go check that out first. Here it is. Hola. Good, good. Back again. So hot. It's like, I don't know. 35 degrees or something today. This is dying. Hi, uh, man. How's it going? <laughs> um, what do you have? What, do you, what are your, uh, the your specialties? Today. Yeah? Today we still have a uh, last of the Rwanda by um, Slow Mop in a special grinder. And we also have um, a batch brew that's a Nicaragua, washed Nicaragua from right side. Awesome. You're the, the owner here? Yes. Yeah. What was your name? Vitilio. What did you say? Vitilio. Vitilio. Nice to meet you. My name is Kenneth. Thank you. Nice to meet you. How, how long have you been open? We have been open now uh, five years. So four years, no, four years and a half. Yes. And uh, what, what is the philosophy of, uh, of this place? So what, what's, what's your idea behind it? Um, I think initially the philosophy was uh, providing a nice space for Alicante people, um, accompanied by quality products, so specialty coffee, um, kitchen, like fresh kitchen and products that are mainly from the market. And now we're introducing also like uh, craft wines and a bit of like good alcohol, like craft beer. So a bit of like uh, specialty products in a nice environment, nice, calm, hot, homely environment. Oh, this is really cool. I really like the, the vibe here. Thank you very much. Really cool. Do you bake your own cakes and everything too? Or? Yeah, we're making uh, the cakes currently, we're making them all in house. So we have uh, one of the chefs is uh, more like uh, focused on the baking, the other one's uh, producing for service. So yeah, and we're looking to make our own bread soon. So wow, that's exciting. Nice. I had an argument with, <laughs> with him yesterday, because I was here yesterday, uh, about uh, Americano and batch proof. Because <laughs> in my world, uh, an Americano is espresso over water. But here they call uh, a black filter coffee or a batch brew an americano because it's a diluted version of espresso, which is very confusing to me. I don't know if any of you are are into coffee and have any opinions on this. But what do you define an americano as? Wow! Thank you. That is beautiful. Let's have a taste. So this is the filtered coffee, and then here they call this an Americano. Would any of you call this an Americano? It taste is really good though. It's the house blend from Origen, which is, I think it is this one from Colombia. Really fruity, like really light, light, nice notes. Very refreshing. I can't get this out of my head. But normally an, an Americano is espresso over water, but here they, they adapted um, to what most customers are expecting. So 
when customers are ordering an Americano and they serve a uh, filtered coffee, they don't say anything. So it sort of, sort of passes with the clientele. And I, I, was, I was debating with them about um, um, whether or not, uh, or what is the right way to do this? Because should you adapt your uh, menu and your everything to what the clients are expecting? Or should you create and st stick to like what is traditional and, and known and, and teach your clients uh, how to how to order and how to uh, what what vocabulary to use in each setting and the names of each drink and everything. I, I'm not sure I know exactly the right right things. And I think, in my view, it's better to stick to the the, the names because a name is a name and americano is an americano. The story, the origin of of the americano coffee is when the American soldiers came to Italy during the war. Uh, they thought the um, the, the coffee there was too strong. Italians invented the espresso. And the espresso was too strong for the Americans, so they added hot water to it. And so an Americano is espresso over hot water. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's weaker than an espresso. But a filter coffee is water poured over coffee grounds. And it's a completely different brew. And it's not brewed under pressure, like an espresso is. So when they hear call a filter brew an Americano because it's a weaker coffee is not the right terminology according to the history and to what the definition of the drink is. But the client, um, but it passes off as that as for, for the clients. I don't know. What do you guys think about that? <laughs> Maybe I'm overthinking it. I really like this place. It's a really cool vibe. Very laid back. Definitely worth uh, worth a visit. Now, I'm just gonna finish this coffee and then head over to the next coffee shop, which was the first one I discovered here, uh, and that's called Madness Coffee. Awesome! That was great. So now um, I'm headed down to Madness, but I realized that on the way there is the other coffee shop. So instead of going back and forth or forth and back. Uh, let's stop at Hermanas Martinez. This is the coffee shop that I have never been to. But this guy recommended uh, that I check it out. So if he recommends it, I bet it has to be good. Let's check out Hermanas Martinez. <laughs> what the hell? I ended up in the middle of a parade. What the hell is going on here? It's crazy. <laughs> I gotta get out of here. I'm up in the middle of the parade. <laughs> this, is, this is pain for you. <laughs> Going heads. I have no idea what's going on here, but this is typical. Every little uh, town and big city has these fallas or ferias or whatever they call them. Different names in different places in Spain. But they, I don't know what it is or why they celebrate, but it's some sort of, uh, what do you call it? Festival. And this one is like a mini version of the one in Valencia, which is called the Fallas de Valencia. You see all of these big uh, sculptures and everything. They, uh, they have like a competition and every like a bunch of like organizations and or all all kinds of organizations and clubs and everything make their own versions of these things big and small and they place them all over the city uh, and they have a competition and I, at least in valencia they burn all of them at the last day of the festival so this thing lasts a week I gotta get out of here. I've lost my way now. <laughs> Let's go find the coffee shop. <laughs> this was confusing. It was a little bit of a detour. Unexpected. <laughs> I managed to get out of the, the crowd. What the hell? That that turned uh, uh, crowded very, <laughs> very quickly. There's another one of the big, big statues. It's a, it's a shame that they... <laughs> so many people. It's a shame that they're going to burn them. Now, 
somewhere here is supposed to be the Hermanas Martinez. Ah, yes. All right, let's uh, let's try this place. This is a cool place. Ah, they have really nice donuts and cakes, and a La Marsa Colinea Mini. And upstairs is a kitchen. Ah, cool. This is a really nice, cozy little place. I really like this place, but now I've been sitting here for like five to ten minutes, and nobody's really come to to talk to me or gone down the register or asked me if I wanted anything. Just gave me a card about the coffee, and then left before I managed to ask a question. So, I don't know. First impression was strange. Really cool place. Really awesome looking place. Service. A little bit disappointed so so far with the first impression. I'm sure it gets better. Thank you. Well, running too fast, so I just I just need that. Okay. All right. Let's try the Brazilian espresso. Yeah, very chocolatey notes. It smells a little bit brighter than I would expect from a uh, Brazil. Roasted here in Spain. With like very cocoa-y, nutty, chocolatey notes. Basically is what I... Typical Brazil. I just talked to him and he said he was struggling a little bit with the yield and he hadn't made a lot of coffees in, this morning uh, with the Brazilian. And so it was a bit unextracted, which uh, I tasted. Uh, and then he dialed in a new, new, new espresso, a Colombian espresso, and that changed the whole experience. Like when I first walked in here, I felt a little bit like I didn't feel very welcomed. Um, it was a little bit of a strange experience, and the coffee didn't taste as I expected from a place like this with this kind of coffee. But then with this one, this is a really, really nice coffee, and it uh, it took the time to actually explain it to me and uh, why why it tasted the way it did the first one. Uh, and in this one, I can really taste it's very complex, very fruity, They're like cherry notes, uh, a little bit of cocoa, um, very well balanced. So this this restored my, uh, my uh, first impression a little bit of the place. Cool, that was fun. Bit of a strange experience in the beginning, but uh, Turned out to be a really, really cool place. Hermanas Martinez, definitely worth a visit. Here we have Madness Coffee. The roaster, the first roaster I knew in Alicante. I love the look of this place. Like, look at all these cool sculptures, like they're using old coffee equipment and everything. ¿Qué estás tostando ahora? Etiopía. Etiopía. ¿Puedo ver? Cool, her roasting, she's also a roaster now. Roasting Ethiopia. It smells so good, I miss I miss the smell of a coffee roastery. I haven't, uh, haven't roasted coffee in so long now. I really, really like this place. The cool thing about this place is uh, it's, um, it's one of three shops, but they all have their own roaster. So each place, here they roast on a five kilo roaster, and then in Benidorm, they also have a madness coffee, and there they roast on their five kilo roaster. And the same in Murcia. Murcia I'm not gonna go to, but the next stop on the store is the one in um, in Benidorm. Uh, this is the same same coffees here, but they're gonna taste different because they're roasted in a different place. I love how they use like coffee products and everything to to decorate with. This is cool, I can put moss in all the walls. And they made the seats and everything out of old coffee bags. And here they, they have like uh, and seats, a kind of uh, waiting room seats with sewn with <laughs> with old Colombian coffee bags. That is so cool. And shelves made out of old espresso machines. If you ever in Alicante, this is definitely a place to go for coffee. All of the places we've been today, but this one <laughs> is unique. Perfecto, muchas gracias. Really cool. I love how they serve things here. Very presentable, like with uh, a note of uh, like the coffee and information about it, and like a spoon and a napkin. Very organized. It's called Japanese cold brew. Uh, so you brew a V60, but over ice. So you, instead of using, say, 300 grams of water that you normally would use for a V60, you use 
say 100 or 150 grams of ice and then 100, 100 grams of, or 150 grams of water. So you don't dilute the, the coffee, but you, uh, you sort of melt the ice and it becomes the same ratio. But for that, you also need to grind a little bit finer to get the, the right extraction. It's really, really cool and nice and refreshing. Oh, oh yeah, that's a really nice Ethiopia. Let's get on the bike and head to Benidorm. So welcome to Benidorm. And here we have uh, another one of the madness coffee shops. Uh, I thought I would just go in for a quick, quick coffee here and just show you around before I head to the last stop. Uh, on the on this uh, this tour in Albir, but here, as you can see, in the other Madness coffee shop, they also roast their own coffee. And here they have a new coffee roaster, a Prisma. So this is a coffee roaster produced in Colombia, I think. Bueno, tengo que probar algo, algo. ¿Qué, qué tienes que, que tienes algo especial? Frío o caliente? Hoy creo que que quiero algo frío. ¿Cómo? ¿Nitro? Café nitro. Sí, el nitro sí tiene. Es intenso. Me, me encanta. Normalmente me encanta el nitro, eh, nitro café, pero no, no, he, no he probado el tuyo. Yeah, I was here a couple of, uh, couple of days ago and I got to I met the, the roaster here as well. And they introduced me to the, to the guys here, so that's why they they're suddenly so friendly. It was awesome. I love this about coffee shops. Like once you show some interest in uh, specialty coffee shops, you get great service and they love to show you around and give you a little bit of extra attention. And what a lovely machine they have, Victoria Arduino, my second favorite machine after La Marsoco. And here you can see the same thing um, as in the other shop, like they use coffee products to, to incorporate into the furniture and everything. I really, really like the, the style and the design and the philosophy by, behind this shop, the Madness coffee chain. They also have another shop in Murcia that I haven't been to yet. Hopefully I get to, get to go there one day too, but uh, we'll see. ¿Cómo, cómo haces el, el nitro? Oldri, Olbrio. Te amo con el espresso y hielos de café. Huh. Nunca he probado este. Este método. Sí, le ponemos un poquitico de tónica porque no tenemos ahorita eh, gas. Ah, sí, sí. De... This is cool. So they make their own tea to cleanse your palate. It's like a neutralizing tea. It neutralizes your, your palate and your, your smell, uh, your sense of smell. So you rinse your mouth with this before you taste the espresso. Oh, smells really nice. Mm. Very juicy espresso. This is a Colombian espresso. I can like the, I can taste that it's it's uh, quite a lot darker than I would roast it myself in Norway. Mm. Mm. But the flavors are really really nice. Very balanced. Uh, very fruity, like stone fruits. Um, hint of grape, uh, grapefruit in there, and a bit of plum. I'm very curious to try this. Wow, it has like a little bit of a lemony taste to it. A very strong coffee flavor, but it's very, very um, refreshing. But the tonic water gives it a little bit of a spark, like a, a sparkle, like uh, sparkle, sparkling water or something. Mm. Yeah, that's really, really nice. Cool. Awesome. Well, if you are in Benidorm, this is definitely the place to go for coffee. So now I'm just going to finish this and then uh, head to my last stop on the, on the tour in Albir, where I'm going to visit Dorigen Coffee. That's the first coffee bar that I ever uh, visited in, uh, in southern Spain that had good coffee. And so I was really, really impressed. If you remember, uh, in the beginning of the channel, if you've follow, been following me for, for that long, uh, I made a, a, a trip to, to Origen and uh, did a cupping with Patricio there, uh, one of the baristas. Patricio is not working there anymore. He's now moved on and is a, a, 
becoming an, a coach or an SCA judge. Um, so that's awesome. He's following his passion. But I've been uh, staying there with my mom for, for a while in Albir. Uh, and I've been going to the coffee shop uh, quite, a few, quite a few times. And I've gotten to know some of the people there. And they're really, really cool, uh, cool people. And they really know their, their coffee too. So let's head over to the Urgen and taste uh, our last coffee of the tour. After I finish all of these. <laughs> I'm getting caffeinated today. Mm. Oh, this is so nice. I love this. So this video doesn't have a lot of motorcycle riding in it, unfortunately. The first places I visited were all very close to each other in, uh, in uh, Alicante. And then I just went straight to Benidorm. Nothing interesting to see in, in between there. And the uh, same from Benidorm to here. Nothing interesting to see. But there we have the Origen Coffee Bar. The first specialty coffee bar that I discovered in southern Spain. It used to be up there, but a couple of years ago they moved to this location. Let's just uh, park here and have the last cup of coffee. Buenas! Good. Good. Good to see you! You too? Yeah, so this is uh, my favorite coffee shop in the region. <laughs> and, uh, how are you doing? <laughs> Alvaro and Alex. what was your name? Alex. Alex. <laughs> cool. Uh, what can you recommend today? today. What is the, your favorite coffees today that I should, well, I, uh, should try? I think it's the best one I can have. <laughs> it's a gold Americano. What do you do? They have the ice Americano. Yeah, not the color, the ice Americano. Ice Americano? Yeah. Something what he tried to do in the last, last week. The people like it and it's full. Then let's try, the, for summer. let's try the Ice Americano. You will like it for sure. Yes. And if you don't like it, you have to pay, so don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Hey, man. I, I was thinking How's of it? you all these days. Yeah. How good? are you? Good, good. Very good. We've been, uh, we've been missing you around here, you know? <laughs> yeah? yeah? What is very special about this coffee shop? What, why should people come here to have okay. coffee? Uh, well, it's hard for me to explain in English, you know? But <laughs> people should come here because of the stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, I agree. Okay, that's, that's a good thing, but I think it's because uh, we're the first people uh, roasting coffee, specialty coffee here in the Mediterranean, in the Comunidad Valenciana, you know, yeah. Ante Valencia. Um, I think the mix of the friendly service and we're trying to make a good coffee, it's a nice mix. Because, you know, not always the baristas or, the, or this environment, it's friendly. So yeah. I think that's our our best thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. What was the thing? Let's see if uh, Alvaro's um, ice americano yeah. is up to par. Ah, it is good. It tastes amazing. Yeah. And it's my, it's my own recipe. So what's the recipe? It's... What makes what makes your uh, ice americano so special? What makes so special? Uh, I think this it's very simple, very simple, but. Um, I don't know how to explain it. How do you make it? Sorry, but it's... Oh? How do you make it? How I make? I have with double espresso, huh? ice and water, that's all. So you mix it with ice, espresso, ice and, and water? And a little bit of water, yeah. And then you steam it up? A little bit. Interesting. Just like this. Which coffee are you using? That's all. I use my blend because I think it makes very nice. But I like to try with the, the Peru or that, you know, we have every month a different yeah. coffee, so I, I love to try with, I think it mixes very nice with Ethiopia's. The smoke does feels very nice. Enjoy. Looks delicious. Yeah, enjoy. Oof. <laughs> That's really, really nice. It's very nice. It's like a very like a, a powerful coffee taste, like traditional coffee taste, but then it has this like, um, Sweetness underneath. Yeah. And okay. very refreshing. I like that you explain it better than me. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're English. Hmm. And, this is an interesting. No one, uh, no one makes this I've coffee never seen, in no, Spain. In, I, 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 I never seen. So I've never seen. I, I feel. I feel good about making this coffee because it's my own recipe. So. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> this is beautiful. Enjoy. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this little coffee tour of uh, the Alicante region. If you ever come to this place, you know where to get your coffee. Uh, 
Um, if you uh, enjoyed this video, then uh, give me a thumbs up and uh, click subscribe and ring the bell if you want to see what I end up doing next. Uh, in the next episode, maybe you see these guys again. Uh, we I wish. I hope so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they showed me uh, uh, around the area, uh, took me on a ride, a motorcycle ride up to the Guadalest. And now the next, the, guy, the next trip would be Algar River. Awesome. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> I can't wait for it. <laughs> Looking forward to it. Right. See you guys in the next episode. Peace. <laughs>